Hello YouTube family. Welcome to my basement office, my basement jungle, my basement zen space, my basement she shed, she space. This is my complete unveiling, I guess you can say, of my personal basement space that I use as my office, my yoga area, my workout area, my meditation area, my art area. It is just my personal space. When I decided to transform this basement into my personal space, I wanted to do a complete makeover and that's what I did. Designing and making over and just curating a space, it really just relaxes me, it helps me, especially, especially, <laughs> with what is going on right now in the world. I live in New York City. So as you guys know, the pandemic is huge right here in New York. And this is just a great way for me to just clear my mind, do something different, to take my mind off of it. So I just spent a lot of time just creating this space just to release some stress to make me happy. And the space is divine. I just feel at ease in my space. It's not complete. Because, you know, you always want to add little things here and there as time progresses, but that's what I will do. But for now, the majority of it is complete. I will try to link as many things as I can in the description bar. A lot of things are bought from Amazon because we're in quarantine. A lot of places are closed, can't go shopping, can't leave the house. However, another goal of mine when transforming this space was to also save as much money as I can and use things that are I already had in the home. So things that I already had in my house, I just pulled them from different parts of my house, from the garage, out of storage, in the attic, you know, different storage areas, and just put them here so that they can be used and also I can save money. So if you guys are interested in, you know, designing a space or changing up a space, look what you have in your house, sis. Boy, girl, homie, like you have a lot of things in your house already. Just look for it, repurpose them, and it will just bring so much life to your space. With all that said, let me guys give you, let me guys, wow. Let me give you a quick tour of oh, my space. Wait, as you guys will see, there's a lot of plants in my space. This is actually my basement, you guys. Yes, my basement, my dark basement, my low, 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 low light to no light basement. I have one window and that is it. With the help of grow lights and strategic plant placements, I was able to have a thriving, a thriving, some plants are dying, a few, one or two, but that happens, but a thriving basement jungle. So let me give you guys a tour of the space and I'll also show you guys the before of how it looked and the after of what it looks like now. Voila. Okay, YouTube family. So I wanted to show you guys the before because I plan on redoing this entire space. I know it looks kind of dark, but this is my beauty space down here. It's messy also because I've just started moving things. Beauty space. And then over here is my teaching space where I teach. So I'm going to make this entire area my office and just spruce it up a little bit. This is the space that I currently use right now. Beauty, filming videos, plants, and teaching. I now have the entire rest of the basement. All of this space, I'm the only one that uses it. So I'm going to transform it into my she, she shed, she shed? No, that's not a shed. Hmm my basement, it's going to basically be my office. So the first thing I want to do, first thing is get rid of these orange walls. Why did we paint these walls orange? I don't know. The whole thing was orange, but when I started filming YouTube videos down here and teaching, I was lazy, so I only did that back wall white because that's all you will see. We're actually going to spend the time now and I'm going to try to paint everything and spruce up the entire place. Starting off with the main back wall to the left, maybe your right, I don't know, but over this side, over yes, sir. This is 
my office space mainly. As you guys can see, it's very childlike, it's very kitty, it's very beautiful, it's very colorful, and that is because this is where I teach. As you guys know, my main, or if you don't know, if you're new here, welcome, hello, subscribe down there. My main job is in banking. That is my everyday work, my career for many over, I don't know, <laughs> many years now. However, I do also teach English online to students in China, sometimes in the other countries, but mainly in China. So this is basically my teaching space. I will have a video linked above to give you guys more details about what I do when I teach online, but I am an ESL teacher. I teach English online as my side hustle. So this space here is my teaching space, my office space. I use my laptop to teach, my chair. This glass table here is from Ikea. The chair is from Amazon. I wanted to keep the furniture very neutral because obviously the space behind is very bright and bold. So I tried to keep the furniture as neutral as possible. Glass always looks neutral, seamless. It looks like it's not even there. The grays and the white tones. Panning over, this was previously where I used to film my YouTube videos. This was a backdrop you guys saw. I just added some plants on the shelves. These are actually my, what are these things called? Eyeshadow palettes from different companies. I just added them so that they looked like books, but they're actually my eyeshadow palettes. And right below it is a long ottoman, long gray ottoman that just holds, has my iPad, candles when I burn a candle, books, speaker, and more plants. I had a desk here. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but there was a desk right here. Got rid of it. Don't need it. That was where I did my, actually, this desk, this desk was over here. And I had another teaching desk there. Got rid of that desk. And just had to have this one desk now, which I moved over here. So this opened up the space. And then I condensed, condensed, you guys, all of my makeup into just this one storage bin. I don't know what you want to call it. This is from Ikea, very inexpensive. It has all of my makeup in those three drawers. That's it, that's all I need. Come out, once you see more plants, plants, plants. I made this DIY mirror. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Hey, but I thought it was cute. I love mirrors, so I added it. Let's see if I keep it up, but. I made it myself. I just took an old mirror that I had in the house and I just jazzed it up. Panning over here, I added this shelf on the wall and just placed some plants on it. This is a floating shelf. It is not attached to the wall. Only, it's only attached at the top, but it is a floating shelf. So I have to be careful what I put on the shelf. And I especially love the color of the shelf. Look at that. A white, gray, blue mixture. I love the paint. Gosh, I love it. I love it. Love the paint. It's just not streak white. It has a blue tint to it. I love that. I love the marbly tint effect on the wood. Love it. I just added this print to the wall. I've had this print for years. This is actually fabric that I bought and I made pillows out of it. I actually made these two pillows right here and I had fabric left over so I just put it in a white frame and boom, it adds a pop of color against the white wall. More plants, if we zoom out. I also added more plants to the windowsill definitely more plants to the windowsill but I also added these two shelves right here and what I love the most about these shelves which you can't really see but I loved I wanted to add the feature is if you look underneath the pipes that hold up the shelves it's like water pipes and I love looking the dark against the white I love it I love it it looks like water pipes on both shelves but you can't really see it, but it's okay. It makes me happy. It definitely makes me happy. And on the shelves, obviously, there are plants and books and crystals. <laughs> plants, books, crystals, and candles. I 
love this shelf. I just love looking over here and being inspired. Yes. Underneath the shelf, I just also made my own little makeshift shelves. I like plants to be propped up. I don't always like them directly on the floor, so I make my own little makeshift, makeshift shelves. This one is just some cinder blocks and an extra piece of tile. And I just made my own little plant shelves. Coming over, I have my dream catcher because dreams, goals, manifestation, success. Dream catcher. Also from Amazon. I love it. It's like a turquoise blue color. I love it. I love it with the dark brown. Beautiful. Over here, gotta stay fit, gotta stay healthy. <laughs> right beside that is just my treadmill. Panning around to the wall, I just have an old beat up lamp that I took out of storage. Love it. It works great. It's doing its job. This wall right here, it's very plain. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. This wall is a work in progress. I cannot put any plants there because to put shelves, running on the treadmill, you know, that's a recipe for disaster. I can see myself running and then, you know, knock the plants down. So there won't be any plants or any shelves there, but maybe art piece or something, mirrors, I don't know yet, but I'm working on this wall next. This just leads to the bathroom. This wall is also a work in progress. The idea, the vision, the design that I have for this wall, not this part, you know, that I can't get rid of. That's just whatever. But this area right here is I just want it to be a complete art mural of just art and bright color and plants. So I've already started off with this art piece that I got from Amazon. This is actually three different pieces in one. When I received it from Amazon and I put it on the wall, it did not extend all the way to the length of the wall like I thought it was. So I ordered individual plant stickers and that is what is at the end. So the end pieces, this piece right here, are just extra plant stickers that I put individually. And I placed them in a way where it looks like it's part of the main design, but it actually is not. As well as this end piece right here was not part of the main design. It's only this, basically this central piece that is the main design and it came up short. Also, the third piece is, do you see the pink butterflies? Right there and right there. Those came with another art piece that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I didn't like them with the art piece. I decided to put them here with the floral design and it turned out amazing. So I prefer the butterflies here. And that's how I was able to create this effect. For the rest of the wall, I don't know yet. I don't want to rush the process, but I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet. But I just want it to be just, uh, just when you look at it, your eyes to be mesmerized by this wall, just a wall plant mural. This is my makeshift wall of plants. I created, as you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff in the background, but I created this little makeshift wall of plants as a divider because the rest of the basement, the other sides, as you can see behind there, it's still orange. I didn't get to paint in that yet, but behind there is the laundry room and another part of the basement which I did not occupy or design yet. So this little wall here basically blocks off my space. And also my makeshift plant wall. I usually have my yoga mat laid out on the floor and I like to be able to bar off the space so that if someone comes down here, they don't just walk automatically and walk on my yoga mats. I don't like people walking on my yoga mat basically. So I blocked it off so that when my, when my yoga mat is there, no one, they have to basically walk around to the entrance. So this is basically the door, knock, knock, Who's there? Come on in. The invisible door. Welcome to the palace. <laughs> this is another lamp that I pulled out of storage and I've just, these are all grow light bulbs. So all the bulbs inside this lamp are plant bulbs, um, grow light bulbs to help my plants grow. This shelving unit, yes, it is from Amazon as well. I told you guys, Amazon, 
they're actually thin panels very thin panels see-through panels oh don't no 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 we are propagating that you just click together <laughs> hello stand up stop playing games stop it it houses a lot of different things for me all of my essential oils my incense my palo santo sticks my coloring pencils because i like to color and create and design my coloring books my journals many different things my tech all of my electronics and tech camera gear everything chargers are in here just little knickknacks um some of my crystals are there as well not all but just some just little knickknacks that i will fill in over time The last space is this corner right here, which is like my relaxation, hammock, meditation, plant heaven. Starting off with the hanging plants. We have plants just hung around. There, I got this actual um, wall decal from Wish, not Amazon. I think they have it on Amazon, but it was cheaper on Wish. And then I have more plants hanging over here as well. Just a, you know, collage of hanging plants that brings you back over to the office. As you can see, this side of the wall is not painted yet. I will get to it, but this is what it is for now. I also have my exercise ball over here. It just keeps it out the way by itself, you know, secure. On this table here has my crystals, candles you know I usually have my journal over here where I can write things we have some Palo Santo and um, sage and I just have that this faux this faux thing faux I, think, I don't know what it's called faux you know faux shaggy thing what is a faux fur white I got that from Amazon as well I will link it below I like to collect spoons from different countries where I travel to. So this is just my spoon storage case. And I have to fill it up. If this quarantine will stop playing games, I could travel more. And I just have, of course, have another bamboo plant right here as well. Right in front, the main feature you guys can see as you walk in is my chair hammock. Yes, I have my chair over there. And yes, I have my long gray ottoman, but I wanted that relaxing boho vibe. So I also got this, am this Amazon, this hammock from Amazon. It comes without the pillows. These are my pillows that I made and I just inserted it inside to match with the um, print that I have on the wall. And it is amazing. It is lovely. I just love this hammock. It just adds to the space. The great thing about this hammock is Whenever I don't want to use it or if I need the space to exercise, I could just take it down. Let's take that. Boom. It is out the way. The space is freed up and I just put this to the side. And then when I'm ready to use it again, I just hook it back up. On the pillars right here, I have two pillars. This one has a plant pot. No plants in it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. And these plant rings are from Amazon as well. I will link them below. And then just right behind my plant wall, I have my this basket of my exercise gear. So it has my yoga mat, a pillow for my back, um, a block, just different, my waist thing, strength, training, different things are inside this basket right here. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope this inspires you to create, to make, to redecorate, to do something in your house. Whether it's just painting, rearranging furniture, or adding some plants, whatever it is, be inspired, be inspired. Regardless of what's going on in the world right now, be inspired. Anyway, 
thank you guys so much for watching once again the description bar check it out for whatever i can link i will link and make sure whatever you guys are doing you're enjoying your journey bye